I'm a Liberian woman married to a Nigerian man. We've been married for over eight years, you understand? I have caught him cheating a few times. But lately he said he wanted to go for a vacation back home because he hasn't been back home for a while and he wanted to go see his family. Little did he know I had our, our lines set up in such a way that I know what everybody's doing on their phone, including the kids. He's not savvy to electronics and stuff like that, but I am. But I have been eavesdropping way before his trip to Nigeria. And I noticed that he has been talking to another woman in Nigeria, what they're going to do, where they're going to meet, the whole nine. I knew everything that he was planning and what was going to happen when he leave. But, you know, us, you know, us humans, we always going to do what we feel like, when we want to do it, how we want to do it. You can't really stop anybody from doing what they want to do, especially if they have premeditated and they, they, they have a fantasy of what they're going to get out of it, how great and good and pleasurable it's going to be to them. So... I didn't say nothing to him. I just pretend I didn't know. But I had to do something that after this man comes back, he's going to pay. He's going to pay for such deceit. I was going to make him miserable. I was going to make him suffer the consequences. So I waited till he left. Mind you, we got a big, beautiful house and we live in large. All right. So, a day after he left, I went looking for me an apartment. I got an apartment, it was just a small, man, was just a small, affordable, two-bedroom apartment. We have three kids, all right? We can, me and my three kids can fit in, in, in the two bedrooms, you know, two bedrooms. I mean, nobody else. So, I got my apartment, and then I went, I booked a storage. I had to book two storage units because, I mean, I needed to put... More than half of the stuff we had in the house and in the garage in the storage. I did that and then I hired a moving company to put what I didn't need in the storage and bring what I needed in the apartment, okay? Within a week or two, I had all that done. And then I cleaned the house and prep it and put it on the market for rent. Without his knowledge. He was doing his thing, going to Nigeria to see another woman without my knowledge. So whatever I want to do to hurt his feelings too, I got to do it without his knowledge. It ain't got to be another man. See, that's what y'all women need to understand. That's what y'all women need to understand. You got to come back at a man without going to cheat on him. Mm -mm. That's lowering. That's, that's devaluing yourself. No other man need to, uh-uh. So he didn't know. He was gone for two months. I got my new place, me and the kids in two little bedrooms. I put my house, I put our house on the market and put it for rent at $12.75 a month. Yes. Little to his knowledge, when he got back, he went straight to our home, tried his key. He couldn't enter. He didn't see my car. He called me. And he's like, baby, I'm home, but I can't enter the house and your car's not here. Where are you at? I said, I moved out. I have tenants in that house, and it's, it's, they're, they're renting for me. He's like, what? He, he said, this is, this is a joke, right? I said, no, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. Every, everything you came from doing, I know about it. I knew about it before you could leave. You went to go see another woman. So, you see, that's the thing about marriage. God gave me the right to divorce you right now, but I'm not going to divorce you. I'm going to be separated from you for a year until you straighten your act. But within that year, I'm going to pocket all that money for that, that, that those tenants going to be paying. It's going to be mine. If you don't change in a year, I will sell the house and all the money is going to be mine. He was like, you're joking. You're joking, right? He's trying to laugh, but at the same time, he's scared out of his pants. You're joking, right? I said, no, it's not a joke. So whatever Uber or taxi brought you to that house, you better, you better tell them to wait for you and leave because I'm a bad. If, if, if those tenants call me saying that some strange man is trying to enter their house, I'll tell them to call the police. I'll tell them to call the police and you're going to get arrested. He was like, you're joking. You're so, you're serious, right? I said, yes, I am. So where do you live? So where do you live? 
I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you. You'll see the kids. I'll bring the kids wherever you at, but I'm not telling you where I'm staying. You're not going to know where I'm staying. So all, uh, all the cheating you did here in America, and then you're going to go, you're going to go on a vacation back home to see another woman. And you, I mean, if you need a vacation to be in the company of a woman, me, you and I should have planned a trip, husband and wife, go and have fun in other countries and really, and really enjoy our relationship and, and, and give it this kind of a, a upgrade that will make us grow more closer together. But no, you decide to take your money and your time and go spend it with another woman in Nigeria. So you're on your own. Go grab your stuff and your taxi, go to a friend or a family house and stay there. I will bring the kids over to you for you to for them to see you. But the day you figure out where I live and show up, you figure out where I live and show up to my apartment. You are you are sleeping jail. You are sleeping jail. He was like, you are something else. You are something. You're a dangerous woman. I said, you're a dangerous man. You're a dangerous man. You don't know how you how 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 you're a dangerous man. That thing between your legs that you keep putting in every hole, you could bring me a disease. That makes you a dangerous man. You're even more dangerous than me. You could bring me a disease that will kill me. You are very dangerous. You are very selfish. You understand? So don't call me dangerous. You are the dangerous and selfish one. All right? So after a year, let me know if you still want to be with me. If you don't want to be with me, if you want to be with your Nigerian woman or whoever side chick you have here in America, feel free. I will file a divorce. I will sell the house. All the money is going to me, okay? Because you stepped out of this marriage. You stepped out of marriage. It was your choice. You understand? So just go where you can go. But for now, the house is out for a rent. It will be out is out for a rent. It will be out for a rent for a whole year. They sound a one year lease. So figure out what you want to do. From now on, you will never try me if we stay together.